at the Intercontinental. I'm giving a workshop for Vodafone Global, a conference on self-leadership. I'm going to teach them Aristotle's method of ethos, pathos, and logos. Ask you an important question. Where do you see yourself five, ten, even fifteen years into the future? Where will you be leading yourself and your team? Now, Socrates, one of the greatest Greek philosophers, said that no man can lead others who cannot lead themselves. The importance of self leadership has been stressed since antiquity, when the Greek sages like Homer recited the story of the Odyssey. I think all of us sometimes feel like we're on a journey, right? Uh, a, a dangerous journey, when you are faced with struggles each day in your business and in your life. If it's not one thing, it's another. Now, what is self-leadership? We talk about self-leadership, but let's be more specific. Self-leadership means having a developed sense of who you are, what you want, and why you want it, as well as having the ability to have a strategy of achieving the goal and to inspire yourself and others. As you can see, it is a complex set of skills. It's not that easy. Today, however, I'm going to show you a simple, powerful method of achieving your goals and navigating through your own odyssey with a compass, a GPS, if you will. Would you like to learn about that GPS? Yes. yes. For over 20, 25 years now, I have been teaching the art of influence and persuasion. We all need this skill to convince our children to do their homework, right? And to convince our employees to do certain things, to change th certain things, and even to convince our boss to give us a raise. So influence and persuasion is a very important skill. Who was Socrates? Socrates, the original classical philosopher, was the teacher of Plato. Perhaps you've heard of Plato, another Greek philosopher, who was the teacher of Aristotle. Aristotle was the mentor of Alexander the Great. So I guess his system does bring some results. Alexander was persuading armies to move forward. So you know that this system that I'm going to teach you is founded for thousands of years and still works because we haven't really changed as people. What is this magic system of Aristotle? Ethos works everywhere. I mean, think about it. Who would you like to work with? A person with ethos or not? Who would you prefer to employ? A person with ethos or just talent? Who would you want as a life partner? Even the most beautiful woman or the most handsome man will soon turn ugly in your eyes if they have no ethos, if they're lying to you. Where would you want to live? I like to live in a country where I know the government has ethos, where there's transparency, right? Where there is justice. These are the countries we want to live in. Where would you want to keep your money? hopefully in an ethically run business. Now you might say, yes, Augustine, but that's a little too idealistic, isn't it? Being good and living according to truth and integrity, who does that? I will have to tell you that ethos is something you do for yourself, actually. It will lead to your success. So in a way, you have to see it as an egotistical thing. The Greeks had another motto called Ain Aristevin, which means ever to excel, ever to try to be better. There is your nobility. We may never reach excellence, 
but in striving to be your best self, this is your nobility. I'm going to show you now a little video clip of Leonidas, king of the Spartans. Spartans! What is your profession? Okay, so then we are ready. I want you all to stand up and take your books. All stand up with your book in your hand because we're going to take an oath. Commit to that statement, your positive affirmation that you wrote down. Are we ready? One, two, three. Ahu! And now for part two of this meditation, where we will be going deeper to really reprogram your subconscious mind for optimum result. This longer, extended version is only available to members of my YouTube channel. And I look forward to reading your comments. Please like and share with your friends on social media.